before I start, can we just mention how in Sandwich Cookie's costume, she happens to block some of the friendship look like the numbers for the friendship at the top of the screen? Like the little flag on top is just blocking what I need. Like, I think I can only see if I tap in and expose yeah, a little bit. Only for a couple seconds. I don't know why that's just funny, but greetings entities and guardians. My name is Hyper Himes and welcome back to Kukurana. Uh, I almost said Kingdoms. Oh, it's gonna be happening for all the games now. Anyway, welcome back to Kukurana. I'm a break. I think I bit my teeth a bit too hard a couple seconds ago. I don't know why, because I just feel an achiness. But well, it's not that bad. Anyway, I don't know why I'm talking about that. Today we're gonna be doing a trial. And it's a trial that, by the time I'm recording this, it definitely is going to help me because, uh, the limited amount of time that the Bones Wall Clinic has, which I'm kind of scared that's gonna kind of stack up on me. But anyway. Uh, where can I find it? Where can I find you? Are you down here? No, you, you gotta be up here. You're more recent, Cookie. Somewhat recent. There you are. We're gonna be doing the trial of Onion Cookie. Why? Because by the time they record this, this might be uploaded way later for all I know. But Onion Cookie has, uh, has a, po a portion of the uh, Bones Mobile Clinic event. And I'm gonna be honest, by the time they record this, I have all S's but with Onion. So I need to get up Onion some boosts, which involves showing off the magic candy. So I need to record Onion Cookie's trial just so I can show that off too. She doesn't have any costumes, it's just her pet and like whatever treasure is equipped. But with that being said, you don't really need much of a high level. I do have the uh, Onion Fish thing at level 6, but Onion Cookie's only at level 4 instead of level 5. So before we do it with like a one run thing, but the, but you know, I'm gonna do one run. One with like, you know, the, just normal running with how I am right now. And then one with like a bunch of better stats, which includes a maxed magic candy. Cause I wanna see if I can get diamond rank in this cause it doesn't seem too far off. But first let's take a gander at Onion Cookie's story. Your eye will start to water if you get too close to this onion based cookie. And once he starts crying, she cannot stop. Mainly because her tears consist of onion juice, which causes her to cry even more. Poor thing. She is truly afraid of ghosts and weeps when scared. Perhaps one day she'll realize why her surroundings sometimes become ghostly and clocks suddenly start ticking backwards. Boy, she just never realized yet. Yeah, also, I'm surprised how it doesn't go into description with the uh, plushie that she's holding. Well, isn't that easy? Can't you just like hug her with like goggles on? Like, because the onion juice is all about like getting it in your eyes or something. So. You just gotta be careful about that, right? But, uh, her skill is that she enters a haunted house when the gauge is full. The haunted house is filled with eerie furniture obstacles. Onion Cookie earns points for going through these spooky obstacles. A level up for more furniture pass-through points. Energy drains slower inside the haunted house. Okay, well, let's talk about the pet, the Onion Fish. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's what- yeah, it's called the Onion Fish. Uh, this is the story. A fish that Onion Cookie found swimming in her tears one day. <laughs> it enjoys swimming in tears, and when it feels dehydrated, it will start spraying onion juice to extract tears from anything that surrounds it. This guy is brutal! Who the fuck does that? Like, just- hey, can you cry for me real quick? I need to go swim. That sounds so mean. But okay, their skill is that they spray onion juice at obstacles at certain intervals. Sprayed obstacles create tear jellies, which also restore a small amount of energy. That might be very useful. To level up to create more tear jellies. Alright, and does, on does, does Onion Cookie have a treasure attached to him story-wise? If the game will ever plumbing load? Yes, please. Extend the video length, why don't you? Uh, apparently it is the giant super bean. I don't know why the super bean, but apparently it belongs to Onion and Profit Cookie. But the story behind this is, this bean was specially cultivated to grow super big, but a wonderful thing, it makes jellies around it bigger as well. Is it because, like, you know, water to make, like, a beanstalk grow and onion cookie is just, like, I, I, I don't know. And the skill is that it makes bear jelly super big after collecting a certain number of bear jellies. Earn bonus points for each collected super big bear jelly. Level up for more bonus points. Bonus points. Alright. It seems like we have everything kind of marked down. I do gotta equip some treasures. I do have all the treasures prepared for this at, like, level 7. And this one, I don't have, a. I don't have the thing that's recommended for onion at level 7. At least I don't think. But for now, we should be good with what we have. I just gotta do a little bit of readjusting. <laughs> Let me quickly go ahead and go and readjust these treasures, which I'm pretty sure- Oh wait, I do have that level 7. What the plug? Alright, well, sure, I guess I'll, t I'll, I'll keep that. Was it also the hot rod that I need? Because I think the, the hot rod is like one of the best treasures to have like for a lot of the cookies. Because it increased speed boost just by a little bit. Uh, no, apparently it's not even that. It's the ghost. Okay, well that's pretty interesting. Uh, well, let me, let me find my ghost bear real quick. There we go. Now we think we have everything we need to for uh, to do this, so let's just go ahead and get on to this. <laughs> that was a bad. Ah, uh, uh, the the crying begins. Who's that cooking in the background all the way to the left and the pi uh, picture? Can we get some lore behind him? Oh, I'm sorry, all the way to the right. I don't know why I said left. Can we get some info on that? He kind of looks pretty professional. But okay, there we go. We're back in like you know no mode. 
Uh, apparently inside. Oh, the big petty, the petty, the big teddy bear. Don't know why that's there. But also, I'm more confused as to why there's a giant like Egyptian thing uh, on the ground. I don't know why that's there, but I guess it just exists. And there's multiple of them too. Oh, and also got to focus on the background too because plebbing. There's also like cracked mirrors with. I think that's a evil looking snake thing on top of that giant mirror in the background. At least I don't know. Also, the window behind, like, you know, this, uh, background. The window in the background it does look pretty nice. Spooky outside, but Pleb doesn't look beautiful. I just probably don't want to be in a situation like that. You know, honestly, this level isn't even, like, too spooky. Like, yeah, sure, it's abandoned, but I'm gonna be honest. Like, the music behind us, it kind of makes it just, like, somewhat jolly. It's just like, it's like, nothing too much to worry about. Oh my gosh. Okay, I didn't get the big thing. However, it was lucky that I had the uh, magnetization, or m m like the magnet power from the uh, fashionista spotlight. Because that just made everything attract to me nonetheless. So I'll take that anyway. I'm not sure how far I'll get in this run. It probably won't be good, but maybe like, I don't know. I want to say somewhere in early ruby range, potentially. I don't know, and that's including if I don't mess up terribly. It's either going to be... a uh, what? Huh? Okay, this is a concept that you never introduced me to. Net, like, net climbing? What the plug is this? See, oh, I hate stuff like that. I hate, like, uh, you know, just much like, uh, uh, the plubbing, uh, uh, wait, wait, what the, what the plub is it? It's like the mud that you have to, like, go through in one of the, uh, oh, oh I thought that was an obstacle. Eh, oh my gosh, this is terrible. I got the bonus time, I luckily didn't fall, but still, that was bad. It is a spooky vibe, though. I gotta be honest with that. That's I'm, I actually like that. Okay, uh, they spawn up there. I gotta remember that next time. I'm not good when it comes to this trial. They have little onion-shaped things. That's actually pretty cute. Okay. I can't cry anymore. Also, by the way, background, very dusty, which makes sense, because I... Are we running in some sort of attic? It feels like we're running in some sort of an attic. I don't know why. Has Onion Cookie ever met Candlelight? I don't think she has, obviously, but, like... Still, there were, just little, there were just little green jellies in, like, the uh, plumbing onion fish's eyes. What the pl- I- it was car- it's car- it's literally carrots that are good for your eyes, not je uh, jellies. What you talking about? But God, jump over the- anyway, okay, quick question. Like, honest question, would I really get hurt if I rammed into a plush teddy bear? I'll give you the honest answer. Uh, no, not at all. There's no way, like, the only way I could see myself getting hurt from a plush teddy bear is if I, like- Maybe trip over it, and then fall, and then my skull breaks open because it lands on something ridiculous. And I, other than that, I have no idea. Okay. Oh, I, you know my prediction? It was kind of wrong. It was like mid-emerald. Well, it was close to getting like, you know, early ruby. But still, I definitely need some improvements done on me just so I can get that sweet, sweet diamond rank. And here's a bunch of violet sugar crystals. And got a bunch of loot out of this. Bonus missions, and also I can get all this stuff, but I want to wait until I get the sweet diamond ring, because I know for a fact I can do way better. I just want you to know, I spent like 9,000 crystals using some special cookie chests trying to get uh, Onion Cookie boosted up a little bit. Uh, but, please, stop. Okay, uh, anyway, uh, I just tried that, and like, I only got one Onion Cookie, so I decided to use some mileage points on it. By the way, I'm boosting this thing up like by like one level. I know he uses a bit of spear points, but I don't care. Uh, I just wanted to see if I can get good points on this. Uh, I also got to get a bunch of this. I got spear potion turrets, so good. So let's go ahead and create this real quick. Got to get the magic candy. I'm going to see if I can get this to level 5, too, because I want to try and guarantee myself a good spot in the diamond ranking. Very good spot. Uh, yeah, activate skill every 28 seconds, and more points for crime bear jellies. So let's go ahead and buy a bit more. In fact, just in case, I'm going to buy, like, there. Nope. 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 Please. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, use so much magic powder for that, but sure. Uh, level 2. Get ourselves... Dang it. Uh, get ourselves to level 3 very quick. Get level 4 real quick. Oh, oh that would have been great. Uh, some crystals for level 5? No. Um, magic powder, just a little bit. I got some to spare. Uh, please, I got... Okay, fine, I guess we're spending it with crystals. Uh, this is where it's gonna be at. This is... Just put... Just, oh my gosh, I'm actually getting irritated because of the plebbing, like, button system for this. Because I'm just like, just let me make the thing. I don't want to buy the thing separately, just let me just get what I need. There we go, okay. And also, I'm just going to apply this. Yes, I know it doesn't work in the trials. 
uh, the only thing that works in the tribes is just the level uh, for uh, what you do. By that, I mean, like, if it, let's say if it's, like, a level 5, that's all you're getting. Like, the max is level 5. But this uh, extra point thing, it just doesn't work. But apparently for the skill of this, then, uh, it says, uh, Onion Cookies Magic Candy Effect. Emits an onion aura at given intervals. Bear jellies within range of the onion aura transform into crying bear jellies. After collecting a certain number of crying bear jellies, the onion aura will dissipate. The stronger the enchanted power, the more points for crying bear jellies. So, crying bear jellies basically give us even more points to work with. That's pretty good. And it definitely should help us. So for now, well, let's hope that we can actually get enough running in just for us to get diamond rank in this. Because I'm hoping that's going to be the case. I'd say that we can probably do this now. Hoping at least. So, by the way, uh, Onion Cookie has not Whoa, okay, this is uh, something. It's apparent that we have a big onion glow. I think this definitely has to do with the magic candy. Um, yeah, okay. Let's just go ahead and... Uh, I guess we're just- Oh, okay, it's for, uh, the bear jellies that we turn into- Oh, look at the- They have little graphics of their own! That's actually very adorable! I mean, it's kind of sad because they're just all gonna be crying. Yeah, look at them, they're just all tearing up, that's sad, but, uh... Honestly, you can't help it when it comes to Onion Cookie. It's not like she can control it. But, yeah, that definitely will help getting a solid amount of points, especially when it comes to all the bear jellies that you're going to encounter. Especially with the big ones. Does it apply for the rainbow ones, too? I don't know, I have to check that out, but... Seriously, that still seems like a very optimal skill to have. Uh, but anyway, let's go ahead and spook some furniture out, shall we? Especially gonna scare all these, uh, gramophones, uh, mirrors, or empty paintings, or whatever they are. Uh, apparently I think I saw, uh, some lamps. And back to transformation. Okay, it does not work with rainbow bear jellies. Okay. It just works with every bear jelly that's not rainbow. So, yellow, uh, frozen, uh, pink, and the giant. And, I, and it doesn't even work with normal jellies either. It's gotta work with jellies that have eyes. Which now that I think about it, that'd be terrifying if you're trying to eat them. Do you know how much like world champion these cookies are for just getting all these jellies? Like maybe they're not actually eating them, maybe they're just, just collecting them. But if they actually like ate the jellies, well, it's canonical that like cookies eat jellies as like food. Like seriously. But like, do you know how much world champion eaters they actually are? to uh, eat these jellies this fast, especially like the rainbow bear jellies, which they're basically like, I'm not sure what they're exactly made out of, maybe like sugarized, like, like crystallized sugar, whatever. But whatever the case is, my gosh, they gotta be eaten, especially the big bear jellies too. That's a large portion of bear jelly. Seriously. I'm just gonna get the potion here, because I feel like it'd be safer. Not the most optimal way, but hey, it's way better than the last time where I missed like, a jelly transformation thing. I think I missed both potions. And, yeah. Oh, okay, well. I, at least I somewhat remember getting some of the jellies uh, on the top part this time. Just gotta make sure that I remember that all the time. Get all the pink bear ones because they're the most valuable. Uh, our run right now is actually looking pretty decent. I think it's more worth it for me, especially for uh, when it comes to the uh, Bones Mobile Clinic event. Uh, it's more worth it to try and upgrade the uh, onion fish because it says, like, oh, it drops tear jellies. Or something like that. And uh, the more that drops, it actually helps more uh, in getting uh, smaller amounts of energy. So if it's like up to the max, it's actually going to help a lot. Especially going like a bigger distance. Running with Onion Cookie. Because yeah, I also could upgrade Onion Cookie yourself. But like there's just the concept of like, oh, in the Dr. Uh, Bones mobile clinic event. Just upgrade uh, Mr. Dr. Bones himself. And what's going to happen is that he basically just like makes all the cookies the same level as he is. So that helps. But for now, I'm just kind of stuck here, which is just, uh, in the spooky mansion, which, heh. I mean, if I have to be a- What would you do if you were a babysitter for Onion? Because, my gosh, it might be a spooky time. But I think I- man, oh, and by the way, we just hit Diamond Ray. <laughs> I didn't even notice, I was just talking so much during the meantime. Oh, I wish I got that bag. But, yeah, there we go, N nice and clean Diamond Ring. I don't think we'll have our skill activate again. We're climbing from some, uh, nets. Yeah, it- whoa! Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm, okay, I'm done. I feel bad. By the way, have you noticed how, uh, when you, uh, go into Onion Cookie Skill, her cry, like, her sounds, the sounds that she make actually get even more, like, peril, like, they're, they're more filled with peril, and, like, she sounds even more terrified. And, like, cause in normal running, she just sounds like she's whimpering, but in the skill, she's just straight up, like, screaming. <laughs> Which, hey, I hope she's okay. But, let me get my extra rewards for this. We can get all the rewards here. A nice 500 crystals along with a bunch of ticket related stuff and a bunch of spirit potions and some coins and also a reward is waiting for us which is a nice healthy 200 rainbow cubes 
Really love that. Really gotta love that. You love to see it. But with that being said, if you did enjoy this video, then please be sure to leave a like on it. I'll share it with friends for more quicker run content. And if you enjoy my content in general, why not subscribe to my YouTube channel? If you haven't yet, or you want to, hit the bell icon next to the subscribe button to receive all my notifications on this YouTube channel in the near future. And last but certainly not least, why not check out my merchandise in the description? I'm not forced to buy anything. I'm just saying it might be something interesting in the shop that I might be interested in. Did I mention hit the bell? I think I did. I hope I did. But anyway, above all else, I will see you entities and guardians in the next video. Hail the hype knees.